Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, I, these are the thank you cards that I'm making for people that put in an order with me this month and it's a fast and beautiful and uh, it uses some of the elements that are provided in the um, embellishment, sweet soiree embellishment kit and um, it uses um, white cardstock. This is take two for me, so I've got a couple things already done. But uh, let me show you what it takes to make this card. So I've got a white card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. And give that a good burnish. And then I've got a top white panel that measures four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a couple of pieces of designer series paper from the Sweet Soiree Specialty Designer Paper. And I've got some of it right here so I can show you. It's got beautiful foiled uh, paper on one side and uh, patterned on the other side. And there are all these beautiful patterns that are in here. And I've already made a couple of these. There it is. There's the tie. Sweet Sorry Specialty Designer Paper. So um, it's got, these two are quite similar, except that one is backed in a, the Rich Razzleberry and one is backed in white. And then they've got these sweet cake uh, papers here. There's just all kinds of really attractive paper in this in this um, piece, and this is one of them. This beautiful sort of, it's got an old olive backed uh, back color, and then it's foiled in silver. And then I have cut some of this other designer series paper to go on this, and that and a little bit of ribbon and the ribbon I'm using is our eighth of an inch uh, silver, that's what it's called, eighth of an inch silver ribbon. And so I'm using that on this as well. So let me show you what it takes to make this card. It's really very simple and very fast. And so I'm going to prep my sheet here that's gonna go on the front. And what I have done is used my tape runner and I put some glue on the back of this ribbon here um, and I've actually glued up quite a bit of it um, and I'll show you why I'm doing that. Um, you can see from this paper here that I have put a pattern across my paper. So the first thing I did was take this silver ribbon and put it from corner to corner across my page and then nipped off the edge of that. Then the next thing I did was move this next piece down. Um, make sure this is in camera here. Um, about an inch away and stuck it down parallel. Now, you can mark your card uh, down an inch, down an inch, down an inch, um, but I found it just as easy to do by eye. And then adding some snail on the back of this card to secure those pieces of ribbon in place. Really very simple and very fast and yet very different. I love the technique here showing the, the, the ribbon. I've got fumble fingers here. <laughs> and let me get that one put in place. And so there I've got two of my pieces of ribbon done. Now I'm going to take um, another strip and add some more. Um, snail to it and make a parallel 
piece across here and again cut that and put that into place on the back of my card. I just found it easier to keep putting these down as I went. Then um, I've got a couple of shorter pieces to add. So I'm going to add some more snail. And I found that this technique on the ribbon worked a little bit better with a dot runner rather than a single strip um, adhesive. And so there. And then one last one for this other end here. And the difference between this card and the card I showed you is my sample is I started out on this card by using the washi tape that was available in the embellishment kit, but I ran out. So uh, I decided that this ribbon did exactly the same thing. So I have some of my thank you notes with washi tape and some of them with ribbon. Okay, isn't that pretty? Just a little different take on how to use the ribbon. And I've already got some snail on the back of this and I'm just gonna add some more, adding some snail to the tails of that ribbon so that will continue to help hold it down on the back of my card here. All right, then this can go into place right here, centered on the front of this card. And I laid it down flat. An awful lot of my choice there had to do with how to hold the ribbons and washi tape in place. But there we go, uh, a, a really different kind of looking effect and really pretty simple. Then on the inside, I cut, um, let's see, these pieces, this piece of green is two and a half inches by four inches. This piece is about three quarters of an inch by four inches. This piece is one inch by four inches. And then I used, um, I'm using this, the thank you from the Heartfelt Blooms set. I love the font of this one. And I didn't use it on this one, but I have used it on others. But that is the font that I'm using or the thank you note that I'm using. So now this is all ready to go. Now I need to adhere this piece. And all I did was put a little bit of snail on the back of this piece and then set this into place on this side so that I had just a little bit of an edge of that other color showing here. I'd say that's about half an inch, yeah, right at about half an inch. Then I raised this piece up on dimensionals Then I put this piece on here just a little bit to one side, but centered from top to bottom. Then in the embellishment kit are a whole series of different die cut pieces here. And on these, I used some more, actually I used a piece of, of, of foam tape on the back of this just because it was a little bit more efficient about going across the card and giving support all the way across. So I used a little piece of foam tape on this and I set that here on my card and then I also used in the same kit, there are um, these vellum pieces. 
that are available and I've kind of taken mine apart but there's this pretty silver leaf and all I did on this was just I snipped off this um, stem and I added a little bit of snail and tuck this little leaf under there and then in this there's also this page of other leaves and flowers and these little berry things and I selected this piece which is um, just a little silver thing with a few leaves and flowers on it and did exactly the same thing. I cut the stem not off but down on this one because it's not a very long piece. I added a little bit of snail and I tucked this one in on this side. And so there we go. That is the project for the day with the exception of putting some silver enamel dots on um, this card and here's my silver enamel dots and what I'm going to do is add a couple of these now uh, I put big round ones on the centers of the flowers and then I dotted a couple more around the card and in this case I think I'm going to use the hearts just because they're so pretty. So I'm going to put three hearts on this, put one up here in the corner, one over here on this end, one here, and maybe one next to my thank you, maybe another heart. There we go. And so that is the project for today. Very very fast, very simple, and yet I think both unusual and very pretty. Um, and this is part of the Fast and Beautiful. We let the DSP, and in this case, the embellishment kit, do an awful lot of the work for us. So I want to thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do truly appreciate it. Love hearing from you. I love your comments. Uh, and um, let's see. This is the last day for the prize draw, which is the Barn Door Bundle, uh, which is a $42 value in the catalog. And that anybody that puts an order in with me during the month is eligible for that drawing. And uh, let's see, the other thing are the fabulous deal now for joining Stampin' Up! Uh, almost $200, if you join with me, almost $200 worth of product for $99. And a lot of people join just to get the discounts on the material. Um, others want to turn it into a little business for themselves. And I'm open to helping people. Uh, like I said, I'm a professional coach in the rest of my life. And so I can do something to help you achieve your goals. So thanks ever so much for watching and I'll be back soon with more cards and more projects. Bye!